Welcome to Drunk Disney, where we drink, watch, and Disney movies and tell you what we learned from them. This week's movie, released in 1977, is Pete's Dragon, a movie that I can't believe is two hours long. What? Yeah, that's my fact. Today's guest is fellow Practical Folk member and writer, Joel Arnold. Hey! hey! Now guys, Pete's Dragon was one of my all-time favorite movies growing up. I watched it so many times, and part of the reason I loved it was because of how many songs there are in it. And on that note, today's drinking game comes to us from James. We're gonna drink every time there's a song. Yeah, get ready. I couldn't name a single song from this. Oh dude, you got Razzle Dazzle Day, There's Room for Everyone in This World, I Swear I Saw a Dragon, Candle on the Water, I Love You Too, which is also called Bum 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 Bum. To Walt? To Walt! Here we go again. Oh, I wish it was cold. Oh no. I wish it was cold. Oh God. I'm just excited for this because I got really into Game of Thrones and I like the dragons. There's like half as many titties. Yeah! This is so exciting. This painting looks like it'd be in the bathroom of a bar in a basement. They're gonna keep panning and there's like a urinal. Pass a Bacuane. Uh, <laughs> what? Getting closer, we better hide. I love whisper oh. acting. What the hell? It's Those are the Gogans. Yes, it's a song. Oh. Dream! These Petey's parents. He's a slave. They bought him. To James and the Giant Peach. Put his head in the river, let the pup drown. <laughs> what a strong way to open your movie with like these dirty characters singing about abusing kids. Hey, that one brother is Jeff Conaway, aka Kanicki from Greece. Grease lightning, go Grease lightning. He's got the grease part down. I done paid our last fifty dollars for Pete. How much would fifty dollars be turn of the century? Actually, that's like five million dollars. That kid is high price value, top shelf kid. Now, do they want to kill him or get him back? Why would they kill him if they paid fifty dollars for him? Cause kid meat is delicious. What is that? That's a dr uh, dragon. That kinda. <laughs> <laughs> I, I gotta chew them. Whoops, one left. There's not really one left. They're in an orchard. <laughs> ah! <laughs> oh, my tongue. I'm not gonna be able to taste anything for a week. Good thing you don't have food, Pete. I look in your eyes and you whisper sweet. A new song. Boom, 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 boom. Elliot is a person name. I agree entirely. Don't name it a person name. Give no. it something else. Buttons. Call him Buttons. Buttons is a great dragon name. To bake to apples. To bake apples. Mm. apples. Boop, 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 boop. I'm just waiting for that part where Elliot goes, bah, 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 which, as I'm sure you all know, means drink attack. Oh! Oh! What's that kid doing lugging around that giant pear? This kid's a good actor. Oh, he's not. Nope. To Lindsay Lohan in her first film role. Was that Parent Trap? Isn't that Lindsay Lohan? Oh, dude, this guy's carrying eggs. I hope that pays off in a physical gag. That horse has a hat on. I told you not to put hats on horses. How Satan. Now say That's sexual harassment. Your skirt got caught in a nail. Yes, your fingernail. Oh. <laughs> they live in Greenfield Village. Whoa, oh, my daily egg route through the maple. Oh. Oh, oh boy. Here drunk we go. Mickey Rooney. God damn it. Everyone loves a drunk Mickey. A dragon, a dragon. I, I swear, swear I saw a shot. Crazy old Maurice. Always good for a laugh. To Mickey Rooney. Dragon, 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 dragon. They're not even writing words to this song anymore. Oh yeah, they gave up. Everyone who worked on this film operated at like an 85%. <laughs> Except for one person. Jim Dale. Who's Jim Dale? He narrated the Harry Potter audiobooks. Hey, Lampy, your daughter's kind of getting groped over here. Boy, it's no, a bee I'm boy. Oh, no. She's part of the temperance movement. So who owns this establishment? That guy who's like, no, please stop my investment. What a waste of beer. Like, that costs money. I want to get to a point where I can just, like, cheers and spill some of my beer and not worry about it. That's about a point oh eight. All the other women in town probably think she's a huge slut. She goes and hangs out at the bar and shows her 
her ankles. Uh, and she's not married. They probably all refer to her as Hora. Hora's the town beer barrel. Oh! Jonas Brothers. We don't need to take a road back home. We'll just bike across these rocks. Dad, this is why I'm single. And yeah, no wonder this guy's an alcoholic. He works at a lighthouse. Your job is to change a light bulb. You professionally change one light bulb. Sorry, lighthouse operators. Feel free to leave comments to Dave. Yo, it's a really big light bulb, okay? All right, Mickey, we're gonna have to have you act in this scene. All right, that works. This looks like hell. You know that when the high tide comes, that kid is drowning. <laughs> this gets brought up by a character. The tide's coming in and high water reaches this cave sometimes. If this movie was made today, that would be a plot point, but like, uh. it never comes up. Why mention it then? You gotta pad out that 128 minutes somehow. I'm Nora. Nora the Explorer. Why don't you sleep here tonight? No. We'll get rid of you tomorrow. Are you anybody's mother? Whoa. Oh. No, I'm pro-choice. But you're gonna get married now, aren't you? He's married to the sea. Who's that? Paul. Paul is a hottie. He's got that 70s stash. He looks like a Sears catalog man. As far as we know, his ship was headed for a storm. I love Nora backstory. So you're the boy with the dragon. She doesn't believe him, but he can explain it by song. He has the head of a camel. No, he doesn't. The neck of a crocodile. No, he doesn't. She's like Rapunzel. She's trapped in this tower. She sits there and like sings alone all day. She flicks the bean constantly. To being trapped in a tower. Trapped, Trapped in the tower. tower. I love that series from R. Kelly. Ah! All right, cut. That was great, Mickey. Oh, my beard's so itchy. Why do people grow these? At least my fingers taste good. His name's Lampy. Now, is that his given name? No, that's probably a nickname because of the lamp of his lighthouse. Finally! The guy who's trying in this movie. Yeah. How old is Red Buttons in this movie? He could be 30 or 60. Ah! I was saying Boo Burns. Yes, Jim Dale, sing it to us. I love how he looks like a person version of that wily fox and Pinocchio. They're both pretty much Honest John and Gideon. Pass him Pass him Pass him daddy. What's with the random seven foot tall guy in the crowd? I could just keep looking at the guy with that pink hair forever. The guy's on his way to an Against Me concert. Yo, Hoagie makes a great old lady. Who's that woman we've never seen before? We'll trust her. Look at his fake tan. You can get that for only 50 cents a bottle. Not as good disguise. Get some spirit gum, Hoagie. All right, guys, that was a really good bit. Maybe repeat that a few times and that'll be like a good 10 minutes. <laughs> we really have to pad this movie. God forbid it be a reasonable length. Oh, shit. No, he don't. Damn. Let's see him dance with the old lady who's deaf. You can't bring Elliot up here. Government regulation 302 states no dragons shall be allowed on the premises of the United States lighthouses. I hope we get a subplot of Pete looking into that law. He and Elliot going to the Supreme Court. I'm going down to the hardware store. Versus, I'm sure, the name of a bar. I'll be your candle on the wall. Oh, what is this? She's speaking in tone? To it's Laurel Hardware. Laurel hardware. Dude, this is one unbroken oh, zoom. I really like this lighthouse shot. Truly, this shot will go down with Atonement and True Detective for the best single shots ever. You gotta look for the little golden nuggets hidden in this movie. <laughs> On Wikipedia, there's so many different versions of this movie, like it's Blade Runner or something. <laughs> this movie has this entire C plot that just takes place entirely off screen. Elliot finding Paul. They set it up like, hey, Elliot, can you go find this guy? And then we never hear about it again till the end. End. The dragon is not nearly in enough of this. Why would you think the dragon would be in a lot of this movie called Peach Dragon? That's a huge flask! That's a 1900 style flask. When everyone was an alcoholic. They didn't have a word for it. It's called being a man. I love that in the IMDB trivia it says, this scene between Mickey Rooney and Red Buttons was entirely improvised like I'm supposed to be impressed by it. We are, we are, we are, we are to hear us. Ah! It's clearly improvised and it sucks. What kind of drunk is he? He's living a lighthouse drunk. So you'd think right now with these two guys being so wasted, the tide could come in and maybe the dragon would like rescue them? Nope. Go invisible. Why does he keep not going invisible? Probably because when he goes invisible, he just sees visions of hell everywhere. It's very hard on oh, him. It's like when Frodo puts on the ring. <laughs> Great scared. Just do what you're doing, red buttons. I'm gonna call drink attack to this stupid ass oh. man. To the greatest improv scene of all time. To UCB 401. You ever take it with the uh, red buttons? He's really good. Isn't he an ass cat? Yeah, yeah, they do a really good uh, Tuesday show, mainly about flasks. Flask cat? 
I don't like you like this, Hoagie. Where's sweet Hoagie? Where's the Hoagie I love? They're so codependent. Why did that scene need to be there? It didn't. It added for me the fact that Terminus can peel potatoes. I'm sure that's gonna come up again. <laughs> nine and nine are 18. Okay. Nine times nine are 81. All right, kid. But what's the electoral process like? Name the 40 states we have right now. Show us your dragon will beat you up. It's like every fish sort of disappeared. Why is this D plot here? Oh yeah, there's another plot. There's not any fish. What? There's uh, so many weird little plots well, like, in this movie. This seems like a moment from a musical. <laughs> Doesn't it seem like there'd be some little song about how the fish have gone, how the fish have gone, how, how the, the fish, fish have gone. gone, how the fish have gone. Unless there's a dragon, a dragon, a dragon, a dragon. I, I saw a dragon. No, that was an actual song. <laughs> there was a. S oh. There's room for everyone. <laughs> oh, yeah. To uh, Haley Joel Osment. Guys, these songs are so good. These are about as good as the songs from like, The Music Man. Don't you be talking shit about The Music Man, Dave. He's not, this is a great movie. No, I meant shit. Late, late, late. Can't arrest the whole class, lady. Good morning, Hora. She seems like someone that should say schedule. Uh, women can't be friends. Oh no, not corporal punishment. Oh, oh come on, oh. Disney, have the balls at least show the shot. Yeah, Disney, make us feel it. Oh my God, the Kool-Aid man! Look at the outline of how he walked in through the wall. They let them set up their Coachella tent right next to the school. You get them young on the snake oils. Now do you believe me? Yeah, we better sing a song about it. Now I believe you, I believe in the dragon. Hokey, I love you. I kiss your face while you're <laughs> sleeping. <laughs> every little piece, every little piece. We got a song. Money, money, money by the pound. Hoagie lips are so very soft. To Academy Award winner, Pete. It's dragon. Uh, Hoagie, get back in here. I'm not done with you. Hoagie will be mine. Dragon <laughs> cartilage keeps you thin. <gasps> I wish I could wear Hoagie's skin. <laughs> oh, yeah. Shut up, Hoagie. Did I ask for a harmony? This is the best part. Money! It would not be a bad thing to see a movie just about them going from town to town. That could be a good, like, HBO show. That would be such a good show. Who had the idea to put a splotch of white paint right there looking like that? That guy looks a lot like Jamie Kennedy. Oh no! I can't unsee that! That's where women belong, painting the lighthouse. Plus, a bottle of my medicine that's guaranteed to bring on puberty two years ahead of time. Whoa, what? You'll be awkward and smelly two years earlier. What the hell is that tunnel? It looks like a football team should come running out of it. Drink attack! Oh! To the tunnel, guys. Couldn't be a foghorn. Oh my His alarm clock is like SpongeBob. Lampy slowly transforming from Ernest Hemingway into George R. R. Martin. Yeah, just like this. <laughs> is he gonna oh. paint around the starfish? Oh no. There's another starfish just shoved in that thing, too. <laughs> it's a brazzle dazzle day. It's a brazzle. Oh, dazzle no. day. Take a shot. Why is your mic not on? Who's? Motherfuck, what? No. I wonder how far into pulling this platform up the lighthouse they were like, it was a bad idea to sing during this. To Lucy. Guys, they shot this on an actual lighthouse. Gogans! They're back! He touched him and all this dust came off of him. What kind of crazy sex contraption is that? <laughs> now, if you take your foot off the pedal, you'll come immediately. The Gogans! Cut. That was a great take. We definitely <laughs> don't need another one. Why were they all hiding? So they can make their patented Gogan entrance. He's way more dusty than he should be. He's like straight out of Peanuts. I love that biopic. Straight out of Peanuts. Lady, that boy is out! Sing about it. Yes! Ah! What's this? Disembodied hands? This is a Dragonberry Long Island. Click here to see how to make it. That's a link to a video where Disembodied Hands shows you how to make this. It's funny too. You should click there. To bills of sale? The Lady Gogan looks like- <laughs> Kathy oh. Bates? No, she just looks like a ride animatronic. I can imagine her being in Pirates of the Caribbean. Uh -huh. She's like the mayor's wife. Elliot's back. She is real unfortunate. She kind of looks like Kathy Bates. What was, what was that show on Netflix about a murderer? Misery? What you gotta do with a dragon? Breed him. Hmm? Who's he gonna breed the dragon with? Hoagie. Hoagie. Hoagie doesn't know. Hoagie doesn't know. Hoagie doesn't know. Hoagie doesn't know. Where do you get a hat like that? House Frey. Carry in the log. Carry in the log. Here's that there harpoon you wanted. 
I got it from the harpoon store. There's free returns. Can you dust yourself off before you come inside? Oh no, he's taking after the lampy. Look at that hat. When I grow up, I want to change the light bulb. But not just any light bulbs, the biggest light bulbs. Ellie found Paul. I love that Pete just wants to keep bringing that up. Shut the fuck up, Pete. Oh yeah, and then the C story comes back because Elliot's been out looking for Paul this whole time. Pete's dragon is severely lacking, Pete's dragon. Yo, Nora's got some nice face acting. I'm gonna say drink attack. Oh! This is to pinups. To pinup what? To pinups. Sexy Paul's back. Paul? And the man. Gordon Seafood Man. He's back with his shipment of fish sticks. When we get back, I better have some of those famous fish sticks of yours. He's a 70s man. This is just a barn of incompetence. <laughs> Look, he needs to receive his punishment. What kind of punishment? No! Hoagie's going to a safe place right now. Oh, nice doom perspective. Now should be a moment when the high tide comes in. Yes, yeah. and he oh. saves Hoagie. Whatever happened to them not being able to fish? Oh, they'll come back. Don't worry, we gotta make this movie longer. <laughs> that guy's about to start a frozen fish empire. Battle stations! <laughs> it's a flying Hoagie. They caught a dinosaur. Shooter! Oh. What are you doing? Nothing. You best not be checking for Pokemon when we're in the middle of a drunk oh, Disney. Get out of Pokemon. It needs a look. There's nothing happening right now. They've been wrestling this dragon for like 20 minutes. No, she's she's right. What was their plan after they put that blanket on top of them? Burn it. Burn it. Yo! Yeah! Wouldn't that be crazy if he lit the tar on fire? Yeah, Pete needs to Dracaras these bitches. <laughs> Goofy yell. What? It's the Disney version of the Wilhelm scream. His legs should at least be out of that hip socket. Yes, Hoagie, jump on. The mayor having a night meeting for some reason. A real dragon. How about that? Oh, man, where's this still isn't resolved? <laughs> oh, Paul, get on land. Guys, do you want the movie to be 20 minutes shorter? <laughs> oh, man, this is the thing I care the least about. He's real. He's really real. Yeah, I got a real dick, too. Come on, Elliot. Oh, Elliot, give it to me, baby. Paul couldn't do that. She wants that wildfire. Yay, fish sticks. Is it just them on that boat? Is it just two guys? It's just two dudes seeing the world. Give me each other back massages. <laughs> the fish are back inexplicably. Nora, I went to this magical time called the 1970s. Pete's all like, let's live together forever. Elliot's like, oh, this was always casual. You misunderstood me. I was always saying don't get too attached. Kid, now you're sad. Now just uh, look sad. Sadder. <laughs> Paul just came back to this weird kid. Yeah. I think we're supposed to be Elliot. Guys, we're Elliot. What? We're Elliot. We're what? We're Elliot. We're Elliot? We're Elliot. We're Elliot. We're Elliot. We're, We're Elliot. Elliot. We're, We're Elliot. Elliot. Yeah. What are you saying? That is so smart. What, what did, did we learn from, from Pete's Dragon? Dragon? I learned that this movie does not take place in the Old West like I thought it did growing up. <laughs> that doesn't make sense because there's a lighthouse. The old Salt Lake Lighthouse. Yeah. Those sandstorms, they are coming. I learned that if you get hit on the head and lose your memory in a boating accident, if a dragon hits you on the head in a different way, you can get your memory back. So there you go. I learned if we're gonna keep up this drunk Disney series, eventually I can just run a lighthouse. The other drunks do it. Oh my Lampy. god, his name is Lampy! Like a lamp. I learned Do you get it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I learned Like that. a lamp. <laughs> Lucy, don't eat that. I learned that if you're an orphan, a baked apple's about as good. <laughs> I learned that if you're an orphan, a baked apple's about as good as <laughs> I learned that if you're an orphan, a baked apple is about as good as you can go. She's eating something. This, this has been Drunk Disney Peace Dragon! Yeah! Money, money, money by the pound. <laughs> money, money, money by the pound. Stocks. Stocks. Hey, everybody. Thanks a lot for watching Drunk Disney Pete's Dragon. If you guys enjoyed this, be sure to head over to the Drunk Disney playlist to go look at other Drunk Disneys. If you're new to the series, comment below with your favorite Drunk Disney or your favorite running joke. What do you like about it? I want to wear hoagie skin. <laughs> and be sure to check out Joel Arnold on, well, let's see, Drunk Disney Atlantis? Mm -hmm.
in the sketches, mm. in the first ever student films I made back at University of Michigan. Go find him. He's in vlogs. I love Kale. He's got a beautiful Instagram, as I've said before. And he manscapes.